All right, let's go. Three, two, one. Okay, what, what better video to show a pentaholic in the making than PTX, an introduction? Whoa. It's not a song, but it's a video they did. All right. Uh, basically an introduction to PTX. I couldn't have gathered that in any way. <laughs> and yeah, so we're showing every pentatonic video, every pentatonic song. That's what's going on right now. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. My name's Avi. My name's Kevin. I'm Scott. I'm Mitch. Kirsty. And we, we are, are Pentatonics. <laughs> Should we explain what Pentatonics actually like? The, the name, the name, know. what it means. Do a good yeah. Yeah. Let me, let me. Yeah, sit down. Okay. And uh, just because he went to Yale College, does not mean you can talk to him. I came up with the name. <laughs> Pentatonics. <laughs> but Kevin's gonna explain. It. No. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. No, no, no. Um, okay. Pentatonics is a scale, scale widely used in all types of music. Um, it's five notes. And um, I think we liked it because that's kind of how we want our music to be. That's true. See, I wouldn't have thought of that. I don't know. The pentatonic oh. scale yeah, makes sense. I'm not still the temp, so. Well, there's five of them. Normally, pentatonic scale, we added the X to make yeah. it cooler. Yeah, okay. Because we're futuristic. Always. X futuristic. is always futuristic. We're so diverse and are so different but at the same time like we all have this common love for music and like what we're doing right now. To create art by yourself is, is an amazing thing but to do it with people that are so talented and yet and, and the synergy is there that's something that's very unique. Well we're definitely a cappella because we don't use any instruments. But I think what makes us different is we choose different syllables, we <laughs> choose different arrangement styles. And we draw from a lot of influences too and that gives us in my opinion. And I think we would like to be seen as a regular band that just happens to use our voices yeah. as our mm -hmm. instruments. I was at lunch with my friend Rachel, and she had been on the sing-off before. She was in the back beats. I said to her, I was like, I kind of want to try out for the show. Um, and she was like, well, you have that trio from high school. Y'all are, y'all are awesome. Y'all should try out. So I was like, that's a brilliant idea. I called up um, Kirsty and Mitch. I was like, do y'all want to try out for Sing Off with me? And they were like, oh, yeah, that'd be fun, but that probably won't happen. I mean, Christy was in Oklahoma and Mitch was in Texas. My first conversation with Scott, he emailed me. He was like, hey, man. That's the origin um, story. You want to be in this group called Pentatonics? And I was like, uh, yeah, um, don't really know who you are, but. <laughs> and then so he actually sent me a YouTube video. And I had seen that video six months ago, and I was like in love with it. And I loved it, and I was super impressed, and I was like, I'd love to sing with those kids. Honestly, I remember the first day I met them, and we sang it's the video. video they released to the three of them. I knew there was something there that hmm. Bad quality. Experience. The camaraderie amongst us was indescribable. Every single person has such a defined role in the group, and so when you hear somebody, you know exactly who you're hearing, and I think that makes it very, very important. Like this, the centerpiece of like Obvious, glass kind of the rock balls. Of the group. Um, he's a really humble guy, yeah. nice, very focused um, when we need the focus. A lot of the times, Mitch and Kirstie and I will be joking around or giggling about some inside joke from years ago, and then Kevin will be distracted or practicing Chinese or something, and Avi will be very focused, and he'll make sure we're all doing that. Scott has been my best friend since, like, I met him in high school, and he's really funny. I didn't know they went that far back. really loud and really awesome, and we've been through a lot together, so... It's really cool to be on this journey with him. Mitch is one of the funniest characters I've literally ever met. He's very witty, very sassy. He's so talented. I, I, I tell him this all the time. I tell him probably daily he's so talented. The things that he does with his voice and his musical intuition is so strong. I just don't meet people like that every single day. Kirsty Maldonado is a very pretty individual, as everyone knows, but um, she's also really well-rounded in musical theater, and she uh, Ooh, is musical very theater. talented and she can sing well, and she's really funny, and we have, sometimes we have these little moments where we say things at the same time without meaning to, and it's freaky, almost like we were born of the same mother. <laughs> Kevin. Kevin is hilarious. He's probably the nicest guy I'll ever meet. He's one of my best friends. One thing that I Makes sense that they be friends. Is that he yeah. works so hard 
everything that he does, he puts his whole self into it. We recorded an EP. Absolutely. PTX Volume 1. PTX Volume 1. And it, that's the name. And it is, oh gosh, it is a melting pot of genres. Mm. But... <laughs> Kind of like us. But we pull it off because we are. We are who we are. <laughs> I think my favorite song on the EP is um, The Baddest Girl that Scott wrote. I don't know why. Like, every time we sing that song, I get really into it. My favorite song on the EP is I Really Love Show You How to Love. Um, partially because I wrote the chorus. Huh. No, I, why I love it is that, I mean, it just feels good. It's dancey. I think my first love was Aha. I spent so much time on that arrangement. Mitch just sounds unbelievable. Uh -huh, is, oh is one of my gosh, favorites. What if we actually got on the show? And what if we <laughs> actually recorded an album? And what if yeah. we actually got to do all these exciting things? Yeah. And then now, like three days ago, <laughs> seeing our EP just in pre-sales at like number one on the pop iTunes charts, I was just yeah. like, I can't believe this actually happened. I tripped out about yeah. it. I guess next for Pentatonix, we have a lot of things uh, on our plate that we want to do. Um, we're actually going to be starting recording immediately. Um, want to put out a Christmas album and hopefully another, maybe another EP hmm. or a second for yeah, album, album. I'm sure. Um, um, but knows, definitely recording knows what happened there. Um, and start preparing for, for tour. Mm -hmm. That's really mm -hmm. important. And then obviously marketing this EP as much as we can. Yeah. And, and we constantly really creating content. Just want to thank everyone who's been supporting us from the beginning so, so much. This has been the craziest journey of our lives. And You're welcome. It's been so awesome to have <laughs> you all there with us, constantly commenting and supporting and watching our videos. From the beginning. I just want to thank you guys for everything you've done for me personally. I mean, this is my dream, and uh, it wouldn't be possible without you guys. Thank you for supporting us and like loving our music. It really means so much because we literally put our hearts on the stage and like in our music for you. I just wanted to thank all the fans for always supporting us, you know, through the show and now um, even with the pre-order for the EP coming out. That's so awesome that you guys push it up, you know, so far on the charts. We just thank you guys so much for being part of that journey with us to, you know, make acapella in the mainstream. Please follow us on our Twitter. It's at PTX official. And you can see all our tweets on there. <laughs> <laughs> and if you like to watch videos or have nothing to do on a Friday night, <laughs> you can go to our YouTube channel, PTX Official. Just type it in the search box. <laughs> <laughs> and please like us on Facebook. It's facebook.com forward slash pentatonics. Please you like, like, them Facebook? like them on Facebook? We all did the Miranda. Yeah. So. You so like them on Facebook? Oh, yeah. Okay. www.ptxofficial.com, facebook.com slash pentatonics. Their, their album's coming out the 26th. 26th Get hyped. of what? July? What was it? I think it's July. July, yeah. Twenty twelve. July twenty twelve. A lot. That's crazy. So long ago. <laughs> They're talking about pre order sales on EP, getting like number one on uh, on pop charts. They've been getting tons of crazy stuff lately. Like they were like Billboard top one hundred number one artists for some time at least. I buy it. And Hallelujah was like number one song, number one music video, different times. Their album was like number one and number three. I think that's like one of their strengths that they they appeal to such a large demographic because like they sing so many genres mm -hmm. that like it's it's hard for you to find any mm -hmm. one person who like likes nothing that they've done. Chances are there's going to be a song that they've done that you like. Mm -hmm. So have that 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 mass appeal. So we got, um, you can see on the right, they have PTA Volume 2, they did an introduction to that too. But since this was more of a general one, it makes sense to watch it. Yeah. But eventually we'll get to the album songs. We'll get that down, yeah. eventually. Eventually. In time. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and yeah, we'll continue. The Trek. Yes, yes. Comment below if you prefer Shrek or Star Trek. Seems incomparable, but <laughs> so be it. Thank you.